Hello loves. So let's have some fun. Let's talk about some stuff. But first, did you know that I have a hidden talent? It's remarkable. You, you, you be the judge. I can wiggle my ears. A lot of people can do this one, right? Nostrils. I taught myself how to do that. This one, um, actually when I was in biology, maybe 8th grade biology, the uh, teacher said, well, who can move their ears? And so apparently, according to biologists, this means I have still a little um, a little canine left in me or, or some kind of animal skill that didn't uh, I didn't evolve enough, apparently, so now I can move my ears. Anyway, okay, that's not what I want to talk about. Let's talk about this. So I want to suggest to you a way of thinking about why you do ballet and how to do ballet and kind of that that context. So for me, ballet is a devotional practice, which means that and it's been this way from the beginning. I just didn't really realize it then, as I do now. But it's been the same for me. Devotional practice in the sense that there's never been an out, a specific outcome tied to it. I never really had too much of an idea of, well, I'm going to do steps one through five, and then this, and then that, and then this, and that. Now, this is going to get a little esoteric in a minute. How do I say this? So, it doesn't mean that you don't have outcomes in mind, things that you would like, things that you imagine. And so you're doing this, this hard work. Of course, you're doing it for an outcome. But the way to do it as a devotional practice is without having a specific outcome in mind. So, of course, there's an outcome. There's going to be an outcome. And the way to get the best possible outcome is by not limiting your mind and your process to a specific outcome. Buckle up, here we go. Time for some sort of philosophical things. So, let me try to give a specific example. So let's say present day, We've created an app, we're creating content, we're gonna create a lot more content with different people and some interesting storytelling. So of course when I do a project, let's say I do a two week project to create an episode. So of course there's an outcome that I want and that everybody involved wants. But the way that I approach the work is still this as a devotional practice. So the way that I think about getting to the outcome that I want is by not working as if I have a specific outcome in mind. How does that grab you? See what I mean? And let me try to define what it means to be the best possible outcome. We don't always, in fact, maybe we really don't ever understand in advance what the best outcome for us really means and this is specifically this is not specifically this this is especially true when you're talking about over time so when I was a much younger man I would have thought I did think all of these different things that I wanted to accomplish and this is how and, and so forth and none of those things occurred so if you could talk to my 19-year-old self, let's say, nothing that I was thinking about then exists now. But what exists now would have been unimaginable back then because of how extraordinary it is. Like I could have never wished for the quality of life that I have now. And even in this moment that I'm here 
able to talk to you like this and share things with you and that we can create this community together and all the things that are about they're happening in the background but I'm about to share with you this is exactly the outcome that I'm grateful has occurred that I could have never guessed would be the case and I could have never planned for it at all there, there was there were no steps that I could have consciously made years ago to end up here there was just this devotional practice this devotional commitment to just learning and understanding this subject that I had and still have a great passion for and now I've reached the stage where I want to where I'm going to share it with the world and inspire other people to do the same thing but also lay out um, a clearer path for you to all do it which then also brings up the curious this is gonna get weird um, so given that I've laid I'm laying out a, a, a very clear path for all of you to study ballet it seems like that's setting you up for a particular outcome I mean it's it's a straighter path to some kind of outcome that you have in mind that you want so we have to be thoughtful about this. And I'm here with you, of course, helping you, guiding you, and, and involved in it with you to make sure that we, we practice this in a devotional way and we try not to get too outcome-oriented. Even when we're in a project that requires a specific outcome. Let's say there's a budget and a schedule and we need to hit all that. So I'm perfectly comfortable with all that, by the way. It's just the internal way of doing it is still as if there's no outcome. Does this make any sense? Somehow it makes perfect sense to me. This is how I live and work anyway. But anyway, I thought I'd share this with you.